overclo overclockable, it's hardware limited, like most Xbox controllers. This was my last result, I'll do it again. Found a thousand samples just to show. Um, and yeah, that one came a little high, but the average is still the same. We'll do a few more for you guys and gals. There you go. So we're seeing an average of a four millisecond uh, response time with uh, 250 or so hertz frequency and there's your jitter results if that fucking matters. So um, yeah, it is possible to overclock this thing. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I, I didn't really notice it, obviously a difference in the overclocking because it's hardware limited um, to four milliseconds, but still that competes with the same result that I got from my uh, Razer Wolverine Elite. See, um, that it does show up as a Xbox 360 controller. I've got nothing else connected. I will go ahead and disconnect. Show goes away and then reconnect the controller. As someone mentioned that the GameSir cable itself is only compatible with this pretty much like there might be others you could find that fit but it's a very small tight fit so good luck um, but in here it does show as an Xbox 360 device install the service you know it does install it doesn't error out it uh, it shows Xbox 360 so like I said, I think there's there's the likely reason for this is the game server versioning. When I received my controller, I was running, I think 1.2.2, but there's an update for 1.2.4. In that update, there could have been that. I also received that update when I went to the main website for the application. Uh, I, there might be an application now since you know it looks like the last couple of weeks they released the game T4 software for Microsoft. But um, I've just been. I, that application on Microsoft wasn't available. They had one available for the G7, but not for the T4K. So T4K was only uh, available when I first had the first review of the controller um, directly from the GameStar website. So that's what I've been using since. What That's what I've had, and, and I haven't had any issues with the detecting as an Xbox 360 controller running that software um, directly from the website. So... Yeah, the hair trigger is kind of annoying. It uh, enables and disables um, kind of at a weird time. So if you're playing an FPS game, especially with this long throw without a trigger stop, it's going to activate if there's any sort of hesitancy. Um, on your on your side, what's weird is the LED will still stay enabled even if as you're going up and down with the hairpin trigger is what I've seen. So maybe there's some setting I am not aware of that makes that hairpin trigger work more appropriately. But um, I'm not a, a huge fan of the feature. Um, I really wish that there were trigger stops and I'm working on them. So um, I'm gonna be probably throwing up a GoFundMe page. There's It's a $350 scanner um, plus tax, work out just under 400 bucks. Um, for a scanner that I need to take an actual 3D rendering of the backplate of this thing. So I would take it off of the controller, take a full 3D rendering, um, and then implement my concepts and designs for trigger stops. Ideally, we'd have three trigger adjustments based on what I saw from my um, Razer Wolverine Ultimate, that there was two in their design, but I'm gonna shoot for three, like for the Xbox Elite. Um, minimum viable product we're going to get one trigger stop that's going to be up at the top of the throw of the trigger so as soon as you activate you're going to be bottoming out that's my preference for why trigger stops exist is just right up there at the top it's going to be about the same distance as the xbox elite so that's what i'm getting for um i'm going to probably provide obviously that file out there on the market for a small fee um and uh Every, anyone who donates to that um, 3D scanner obviously would get those. We get the file, and would get the 
And so they get the G code and then they'd also get the uh, trigger stops themselves, depending on your dono. So if you just donate a couple bucks, I'll give you the G code. If you donate 10 or $15, um, I'll probably, or 20 bucks on it, probably shipping you um, a set of the, like the back plate with the trigger stops for, for based off of your dono. Um, so that's kind of my terms. I'll go ahead and, and throw that up later. Um, yep. So any about 400 bucks for that 3d scanner. And based on what I've seen, it would be the ideal device to pull that off. So, um, also show some of my concepts for trigger stops later. Um, I did notice that these are really sensitive to magnets, obviously, because they're fucking magnet sticks. Um, yeah, keep any of your smart devices, anything with a magnet in it, um, a locking iPhone feature thing. I'm a Android user, so I don't know what it's called, but it's anything that has a magnet in it stay clear of these sticks um you will receive interference um and that's based on what i've seen so i'm gonna go ahead and show the gamester application uh just for the versioning for reference and um my audio might cut out so here it is so um, as yep, so it went and went away every time my audio comes back. You saw it was version 1.2.4. I'm not sure why my audio and the game server app just don't like each other, but they don't. Um, so I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, I'm also going to be designing a stick design that's kind of like a quick detach suppressor, um, where there's a, it's like a ratcheting locking um, thread. So you don't have to deal with magnets or anything, but you get a nice, secured, adjustable, right? You swappable stick, um, and I hope that design kind of is like the standard going forward for these uh, Hall Effect um, sticks, um, because they don't—they're not compatible with the magnet um, hot swappable sticks that are currently on the market right now. Um, so I gave my feedback to Game Sir. I said, "Hey." You know, it'd be cool if you threw out a pro controller, a tournament controller that had four back buttons, um, you know, nice, more tactile, shorter throw, face buttons there, give us some trigger stops, give us some more premium materials in the build of the controller, because I think they could definitely do it, and, and, and bring that price point up to 80 or 100 bucks, and you might have yourself a best of market controller. So if they did that with support for PS4 and Xbox, they would be competing and blowing every other um, controller manufacturer right now out of the water. Um, I haven't tested installing Hall Effect sticks yet, um, soldering those in. Um, I did try uh, fixing an Xbox Pro Elite of mine and buddy gave it to me and, and I screwed up the install of the sticks. It seems like the melting point of the solder on those things is right about the same fucking point as when, where the plastic on the inside of the stick melts so and that was a standard alps stick xbox series elite stick it wasn't anything you know fancy and special like these hall effect sticks but um yeah that would be my, my concern about people going and doing that up, upgrade it does require a high level of skill with soldering um i'm fairly skilled it's part of my profession working in the storage industry i do do a lot of rework of ssds but the uh, 14 through hole pins on those sticks kicked my ass. Um, did not have a fun time with it. I spent many hours trying to, you know, re replace those sticks. I ended up ripping out the PCB actually in the process um, and made the repair. I just fucked the whole board. So um, anyone who does get their hands on some, you know, Hall Effect sticks, just be prepared for quite an intensive soldering process you're going to have to have a heat gun um, you're going to have to know how to use that heat gun very well um, the hot air and uh, yeah look up as many YouTube videos as you can on how to do it I wish you the best of luck for all those who, people who do have intentions of doing that no one listening to this video probably doesn't because they're going to buy the Gamster G's 4 for $40 save yourself the headache of ever doing that to another controller and keep this thing as a backup um, when other controllers come out on the market with these Hall Effect sticks, because I'm sure this is the way of the future. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if you're, you know, kind of on the fence, just fucking get it. It's 40 bucks. It's like, you know, two takeout meals, DoorDash meals. 
and you will thank yourself later when your uh, current controller your nice battle beaver or uh you know your you know the top of the line shit goes bad um starts getting your sticky drifty whatever you know your good old stuff you're gonna love to have this thing ready to go it's gonna not have stick drift unless you fuck up and you put this thing next to anything magnetic in a drawer i can imagine if this thing had any uh, magnetic interference over time you could get fucked up sticks that's just my i could be totally fucking wrong there but let me know the um the likelihood of any magnetic interference actually causing a permanent damage to the joystick so or the triggers because they're hall effects triggers too so um yep oh um last thing to mention about the trigger stop upgrade backplate that i'm gonna work on i am working on that i'll i'll finish once i have the uh actual cad model of the back of the of the uh case here uh, it's going to be printed with an ESD plastic, meaning it's going to just be black. If you want a different non-ESD plastic, go ahead. I don't think the plastic they use for this is ESD, but it's just kind of a standard I've gotten used to of using ESD plastics. Um, but, uh, yeah, color choices, I'll, I'll pretty much leave it up to you guys, you know, when I start producing them. Um, it should be pretty simple. Uh, there's six, yep, six screws on the back. Shouldn't be too hard. To, uh, get those out I think they're a T some sort of torques or something I can't see because my lights off right now but um, yeah thanks for uh, for watching this it is fucking really early in the morning late at night for me I just wanted to, you know as I was going to bed I wanted to make a quick one take video kind of highlighting my experience with the controller yes it's, it's compatible with Windows as an Xbox 360 controller and it is compatible with the X input test results so um, anyone who's listening to this, let Gamer Haven know that he can run those tests, those X input tests, and upload those results. I'm, I'm seeing pretty average Xbox um, controller results. So there it is. Thanks, guys. Bye.